Hi, it's Herb again. I want to show off uh, progress on my power drawbar. Uh, first of all, it sure is nice to uh, be able to have a setup uh, on the uh, mill and not have to remove the vise. So I just took one end of it here and set this up. This is 5 8 inch uh, 6061 plate and uh, it's uh, called the bottom plate. It actually mounts to the mill via three standoffs and uh, these standoffs are a little over two inches high and that gets it up above the uh, brake assembly and all that and uh, back gear uh, lever and uh, the uh, the plate is uh, got the bolt, cir bolt circle on it for that it matches that it's a six inch bolt circle best I can tell and then this part here uh, this is going to be bored to two inches and that's so the uh, uh, the uh, drawbar can come up and uh, and uh, through there. Actually, I think uh, one inch may be enough. Um, anyway, there's a two holes here for the guide rods, and those are bored a half inch. I've decided to use half inch. Uh, tool steel for guide rods just happened to have a about a three foot piece of it so that's what we're going to use so that's uh, this so far I've also uh, done the mod to the top of the uh, butterfly removed the butterfly and its top plate made a new top plate and it's got some milling in inside but you have your uh, clockwise and counterclockwise uh, holes here. These are uh, drilled and tapped for uh, 1 8 uh, NPT and uh, it, uh, it's got the original gasket in there and I've checked it for leaks and it, uh, it works great so uh, I think we're well on our way to getting this thing done. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that. Uh, had a, quite a rainstorm here in uh, the Dallas area today, a lot of flooding. Fortunately, we didn't get a whole lot here. It came down pretty good for a while, but we need all the rain we can get. And uh, anyway, we're thankful for the rain. Anyway, I uh, just thought I'd share this and uh, give you a quick update on my drawbar project.